Yeah, it's a bit late to review a holiday-themed movie, but what the hey. This is the latest movie by indie filmmaker Edward Burns. I've come to notice that most people either love this guy's work or hate him beyond reason, if his IMDb page is to be believed. Personally, I think he's pretty decent, but also an inspirational filmmaker. Sure, even he's admitted that he's made bad movies in the past, but it doesn't stop him from going on the career path that he chooses to go on, making amazing use of micro-budgets and alternative ways of promoting his work, all so that he can retain creative control. And I can respect that. The Fitzgerald family Christmas follows a large Irish-American family in New York State who have to face what can only be called a crisis. Years ago, their father walked out on them, and their mother swore that he'd never be allowed back. Now, on her 70th birthday, she's told by one of her older children, Jerry, that their dad wants to come back and celebrate Christmas with them. This divides the siblings because the older ones are more inclined to forgive him, while the younger ones support their mother's choice by keeping him away. Jerry, played by Burns, is caught in the eye of the storm, trying his best to fill the void his father had left, and it wears him down throughout the movie. Meanwhile, his six siblings all have crises of their own to manage. Aside from Jerry and the youngest child, who's just come out of rehab, every one of them seems to have a problem with their significant other or with their family. Jerry, meanwhile, stands in the middle of all this, feeling unappreciated and overstretched. It all leads to a Christmas story that feels grounded in modern times while also allowing for a lot of holiday whimsy. One thing I've always liked about Edward Burns is how he's able to write realistic and compelling dialogue. Certainly this movie's well written, and the cast is one that any Burns fans will recognize from earlier collaborations. There's Mike McGlone, Carrie Bichet, Marsha Deedlin, Dara Coleman, Connie Britton, Caitlin Fitzgerald, Anita Gillette, almost everyone in this movie has worked with Burns in the past. And we also get Tom Guiri, Noah Emmerich, and Ed Lauder. This is the kind of movie that Burns has always been good at making. Unfortunately, I can't say that it's as good as some of his other works. Like most holiday-themed movies, it feels a bit contrived and cliché at times. While the issues are adult and treated as such, there's a tendency to wave away the problems with answers that felt a bit too simplistic for my taste. While the performances are all great and the writing works for the most part, there's a lack of true originality which will leave some people disappointed. That said, we really do understand the plights of these family members, even as they start to come together in an attempt to salvage just one day of the year for themselves. The Fitzgerald Family Christmas is overall a pretty good film, if not bogged down by a number of cliches. Certainly it's not Edward Byrne's greatest film, but it's definitely got a sense of genuine identity with this dysfunctional family, and it makes for a good holiday movie. It's also an example of a lot of the key themes and ideas that Edward Burns has been toying with throughout his career. While it's not always worked out for him in the past, when it works, it really does work.